Are there any stories you can talk about sort of anecdotally that you just love having seen in your practice? Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is what's so fun about what I do. It's, um, and I'll speak very generally just to protect everybody's privacy, but um, I have a patient who has been on, um, like, uh, she's been on psychiatric medications, I think since she was five, and, um, and, and she's now almost off of them. And so it's, you know, just, it, She's been very disciplined about diet and lifestyle, and she's created the conditions to be able to get off of medication. She's stable and resilient on her own. Um, I have lots and lots of patients who have come in to see me with anxiety of various forms. And anxiety is one of my favorite things to treat because there's so much low-hanging fruit in anxiety, and it's like blood sugar stabilization alone. Like I've, I feel like I've had a, a nice, maybe a dozen patients over the years who have come in having panic attacks like daily, like all the time. And when I look at their diet, it's like they're eating in this way. It's like the typical American way of trying to be a good citizen, eat low fat and da da da, and lots of salad. And it's like what we've done is we've created like really uh, unstable blood sugar. And so for those patients, I'll have them do things like take a spoonful of almond butter or coconut oil every few hours and start to shift the way they eat towards like more real foods, more substantial foods, more healthy fats, more pastured meats and you know, just more protein in that form, less grain, less refined carbohydrate. And once they've stabilized their blood sugar, which usually can happen over the course of a few months or not even, like it can take a few weeks, um, there's just no more panic attacks at all. It's just like that huge, enormous life-defining problem just done. Um, and it's not always that easy for everybody, but there's definitely been a lot of people over the years that it was that easy. Um, and so that's really rewarding. And depression, I think my, the, the most, like one of the most fulfilling parts of the work that I do is helping people realize that there's hope. Um, realizing that there's like a more empowering uh, way to think about mental health, that it isn't this destiny, it's not genetic, it's not the fixed mindset, it's like that's just the story we've been sold through a lot of like, you know, well-meaning, misguided accidents of like how we think about mental health. Um, but so to help someone see like, oh, you know, that's true, my depression did start right around the time that I took that course of antibiotics for that sinus infection in college and went on birth control pill and it's sort of like then you start to see that this had a physical basis all along and you have to work to get that physical basis back to balance. But once you do, the depression is just no longer a part of your life. So this thing that we think of as like our identity and it's like, okay, I'm depressed and I'll always be depressed. It just doesn't have to be so.